In this video, I'm going to show you how to do your CAFM asset management surveys more quickly and with less effort. Hi, my name is James from Pocket Survey. This channel is all about helping you become a more efficient surveyor. So please subscribe to see more videos of our surveying software. Are you wasting time writing up your survey inspection reports? Are you struggling typing data into your spreadsheets? With Pocket Survey, you can avoid tedious work, save time and save money. Watch this video to the end and you'll find out how. This is the mobile part of the Pocket Survey software running on an Android tablet. We have a full range of survey templates covering commercial, residential, social housing and risk assessment. This is a short demonstration of the CAFM Asset Data Collection Survey that is part of our commercial range of templates, so let's tap into it. Unlike most other apps, Pocket Survey is very easy to use on site, with a clean and uncluttered user interface. You hardly have to type anything since most data input is done using menus. So, the first thing we have here is a geography of the site, the buildings, the floors and the rooms. So we can drill down into this to choose a location to survey. So let's choose radi radiology block, the first floor and then room 01. The list of surveyors is like most menus in Pocket Survey. It can be added to on site by typing in at the bottom, or you can set up the list in your desktop software. A pocket survey template is split into sections to help you navigate through the survey easily. One of the sections in this survey is the general photos. Here we can take some photographs of the area and describe some general photos. In this case, we won't do that. We'll go straight into the main section. So. The SFG20 section has groups of sections and items based on SFG20. This is a list in Excel that you can edit and manage yourself to enter all your schedule of rates, lifetimes, units of measure, etc. So let's go into this section and do a typical example. So let's enter the doors and gates section and choose automated doors and gates. Here we have a list of items. We'll tap on doors and we have a different description for each type of door. So let's choose revolving doors. We can now specify a condition. Now this condition rating can be set up by yourself. Let's choose satisfactory. You can optionally enter a asset number and this could easily be changed into a barcode if you wish. List of manufacturers is set up on your desktop software so you can actually choose your relevant manufacturer. You can enter a model and serial number, but more importantly, you're presented with the cost of the item, the quantity to replace, and the estimated remaining life based on the condition. Here, you can increase the remaining life or decrease it according to what you see on site. Because the item was not in good condition, you are prompted to specify some minor repairs such as servicing, cleaning, etc. However, we will not do that. Finally, we can take a photograph. So we can snap using the camera on your device. You should always take the photographs landscape if you can. However, you can rotate the photograph using the rotate button. There's some health and safety issue questions which can be turned on and off in the desktop software. And finally, you can add some additional comments. You can see a green tick is next to the item once it's been entered. And we'll click, click done to unwind and go back to the main section. You can see here the green tick indicates that we've entered that SFG20 section. What we can do now to finish off this area is to enter some general comments 
Here, we could use the excellent Google voice typing if you wish. I am dictating some text. You can see it's quite accurate. To finish, we must tap the mandatory questions marked in red. Now we can tap done and we go back to the list of sites. We can do another site, another building, another room, etc. In this case, we're going to tap quit to finish. All we need to do now is transfer our data using the internet and the cloud. It's important to note that you do not need an internet connection to do your surveys on site. You only need it when transferring data to and from the mobile device. Go back to the templates and we can enter another survey template or in this case we're just going to tap exit. That's a brief demo of the mobile part of the pocket survey software. The other part is the desktop database and reporting system which will create your reports in seconds without any further editing. The features of the full pocket survey software are covered in other videos on this channel. Your professional CAFEM asset data collection report comes off in seconds from your desktop database and reporting system. It's branded with your company logo and company details. There's an automatically generated table of contents. Then there's an introduction page. All the details in the survey are presented color coded with condition ratings, quantity, replacement costs, replacement years and hyperlinked photographs. This section will vary depending on which schedule of rates you've decided to use. There's an optional five year forecast and in the desktop software, there's also an option to do a proper repeating life cycle pivot table. Then at the end of the document, there's a gallery of all the photographs taken on site. Please feel free to ask any questions below or contact me via the Pocket Survey website. And if you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. You will find links in the description below to download a trial copy of the mobile software. Please subscribe and click the notification bell to see more videos from this channel. Thanks for watching. If you want to find out more, please join our mailing list and download the trial app or book a demonstration via pocketsurvey.com.